I was also an artist. I did photography. After taking antidepressants for six years and not feeling a lot of hope for myself and what to do, I really created most of my artwork from darkness. After one year of practice, I didn't need medications anymore. I felt so grateful. I was a depressed, wandering artist, and I found hope and power through brain education. My name is Jordan Diamond. I'm from West Hills, California. I'm an instructor at Body and Brain Yoga in Atlanta, Georgia. I started brain education when I was 19, and actually from age 13, I lived with very severe depression. I had a relatively nice life. I didn't really know why I was so depressed, and I didn't know what to do about it. I had taken uh, antidepressant, anti-anxiety medications for six years. I was even doing therapy at that time, and Everyone told me that's just how you are. The whole time, I really didn't like taking medications because I knew like deep down there's nothing wrong with me. I just couldn't handle something. I couldn't manage something. I was also an artist. I did photography and um, different types of like poetry. And I really created most of my artwork from darkness. And that's all I knew how to do. And there was some energy there. There was some power there for me. I went to go live in Northern California with some family when I was 15. There I started to develop my connection with actually nature a lot too. In the mountains with the, like the natural world and expressing my art. I used to do a lot of nature photography. I used to spend a lot of time outdoors by myself. Hours and hours I could be by myself, but I realized that wasn't making me happy. Later I can look back and see that I was looking for something. So when I was 19, I moved to Atlanta, Georgia, and that's where I found the Body and Brain Center. It was at the Body and Brain Center, I found brain education. All those experiences, all the kind of unsettledness I had, that I was looking for something to kind of ease the pain I was feeling inside. When I found brain education, I trained a lot. And for the first year, I, I practiced a lot every single day. After one year of practice, I didn't need medications anymore. So after taking antidepressants for six years and not feeling a lot of hope for myself and what to do, after one year, I didn't need it anymore. And at that time, after one year, I felt so grateful that I decided to become instructor because I felt like the people who shared this with me, if I just say thank you to them, that doesn't serve what I received. So I decided I need to do this for other people. So now I can share my love to people and I create my artwork in a totally different way. I've moved to doing more portraiture and my ability to open up myself helps them open up as well and create very magical results. That's a big power of my mission and what I'm doing going forward as well. Uh, my favorite brain education principle is definitely choose and it will come true. For many years I heard this, but I didn't really get it and it wasn't working for me. And then when I started to go deeper into myself, I could see the ways in which I was choosing things I didn't want or blaming things on the outside. And when I really chose, started choosing for myself, I began living my life confidently. I began training myself to be strong physically, emotionally, mentally, and really starting to choose what it is I want. What I would say to my old self is, don't worry and find someone to help you. Some things you can use your own smartness to figure out, some things you need some guidance by someone who's already figured it out. So don't try to do everything by yourself. That can be the slow way to do it. I was a depressed, wandering artist, and I found hope and power through brain education.